Yeah, we're going. All right, we're getting under way a second time. Hopefully this time uh, we'll stay in the game. Okay. Tell me if these sounds right, are too guys. loud. After a long delay, we are finally tuning into a first round USKO match. Thank you for joining us. I'm Sorgonomics here on Aaron215 Streams. Thanks for having me. We've got the tag pro in the middle this time, and Gargantua misses the boost to it. PK sub ball cleans it up. And uh, we've got a 2 to 1 power up advantage for the uh, box populi here. Juicy Juke might be able to get out of base using that rolling bomb, but he's got a Juke Juice and Snowball chasing him down. PK sub ball, risky but rewarding grab there to prevent uh, Cap and buy his team just a little bit of time. Juicy Juke now trying to push it around the outside. But four players in base, that's an immense amount to get past on such a tight, tight map. Snowball now, great escape. Juicy Juke has the flag for a long time, he's been pretty conservative with it. He's got a re-grab now, so he's just going to have to try and pull something. Gargantua electing to push it outside instead of punching it through the middle. Interesting map. Uh, Monarch hasn't seen a lot of competitive play yet, so uh, look to see some of the higher t tier teams pull out some interesting strats potentially that could catch the other team off guard. Another 2 to 1 advantage early for uh, Box Popular in terms of power ups. But um, unless Booster and Nug can push back and get the second return, they're not going to see the chain broken. Oh, they do. Both teams reset. In terms of tools to get you out of base once we get into a slower paced match, we've got that bomb that's coming up every 30 seconds, and one one boost coming from the outside that's not at a great angle, but otherwise there's not a whole lot of uh, tools to help you get out of base unless you just do it with sheer ball on ball strength. Another round of power-ups coming up, and it looks like we're going to have uh, potentially a fight on all three power-up slots this round. If Ballsack, no, Ballsack can't quite get over to the right in time, so right goes uncontested to Box Populi. We now have a tag for on defense. The Juke Juice, however, couldn't get out of base in what could have been a really strong capping opportunity. Gargantua now is fainting away from the boost of PK sub ball. Juicy Juke has a re-grab, but yeah, that boost spawn could have helped him, but in the end wasn't enough. My Bob Illuminatis are just bombing and boosting and hopping all about trying to get that return. Took them, uh, took them a fair bit of time considering there's three of them there. But... Uh oh. What do you do? Okay, good. Got some predictions coming out in the chat. Potential predictions 1 to 3 box, 3 to 1 box populate. Hmm. Interesting. Nothing has really separated either of the teams very far other than some. Good power up timing by Box Populi. There we go. They dominate two out of the three power ups again. Last time they couldn't capitalize, potentially this time. Right, PK sub balls out of base and has a re grab. Also, I can Rudy both going for the. trying to line up a bomb snipe. Eventually realizing that perhaps one of them should try and close down the flag carrier. Yeah, so far, really conservative map. Not a PK lot of capping opportunities. Oh, good escape by PK Subball there to get past two, but that team boost is uh, not potentially what he wants to be walking over. Another round of power-ups coming up. This time we see two out of three go into Ball Illuminati's. Rudy should be able to get this return with that Juke Juice then. We'll see. Well, Juice Juke gets out of base. Nice Juke, Booster Jukes. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Great going through that Rudy. middle lane.
Neither flag carry looked like they wanted to kiss there. Both teams have that re-grab still. PK sub ball makes it into a return for cap scenario, but can't stay away long in that base. That's really just a the, looks Great like half boost of the for defense. Balance. It's not a lot to do there. Yeah, booster jukes. Uh, all Balsack had one on the other side. Oh, exactly wow. the same boost. Nice. Juicy Juke. Great timing. Perfectly times that RB as it comes up, and now he's coming into base. Ooh, and return. There and you go. Return. Just in time. Great. Almost, almost uh, didn't work out, but great timing with that home bomb. Get himself a cap. Now Gargantua is coming up, and he's passed three again. But he's going to have to. He looks like he's going to wait for a regrab to get set up. Smart play there. He's got these bombs to play around with. Meanwhile, on the other side, we've got a PK Subball struggling to either set up anti-re or get to base and help. Spiked himself a couple times there, right off the spawn. And now Juicy Juke only has two to beat. He's coming off the wall with the boost, almost finds the really nice angle to slide in from behind the box. But now he's only got one to beat, and if Rudy and Balsack can make this box stick, they can't snowball. Didn't look like he had a whole lot of resistance there as he put up a 1v2 return to prevent another cap. Gantry corner bounce and just missing that sly little boost through middle that we're going to see attempted so many times. And again, Box Populi picking up the lion's share of the power ups, unlike last round actually. Juicy Juke, sly little move on the bottom wall there. Nug and Snowball are struggling to put any real pressure on Juicy Juke, who's holding the flag really confidently right now. Maybe he's working with a little bit of confidence after that first cap. Rudy now, trying to bomb snipe down at that flag carrier, but he's, oh, great snipe by Gargantua. Potentially pushing for a reset here for his team as Ballsack is out in the other direction. Rudy Gargantua. Good block, Booster Jukes. Mm -hmm. He allowed Nug to get out there very well. Juicy with the flag and the power up again. He's potentially. Oh, yeah, he's picking up a rolling bomb now. It's quickly diffused, but. Unless Snowball can hit the snipe, yeah. It looks. Oh! Good ricochet there by Snowball to get a return on Juke Juice. Flag carry and Snowball gets a second return. He wants a third for the reset, and he might be rewarded for his tenacity here. Oh, a bomb snipe to hit if it's going to happen. And, uh. Looks like it. Good situation here. Yeah, this game's livening it's up a little bit as these players get warmed up. Good blocks, mate. Oh. Nope, no cap. The box can't quite stick there for Box Populi, despite their being their namesake. Snowball's getting some great returns here. Snowball is a homing in on them like a missile right now. He's he's leading the ball with 16 returns, far and away the most on his team, and uh, far and away the most overall. Nice work by Gargantua. Mm hmm. Really tight Ooh. scenario there. Ooh. His teammate actually pushes him into that return. He was doing a very good job of being past a couple. Good kiss. Yeah, Juicy Juke so has uh, two and a half minutes of hold, uh, far and away the most out of anybody on the map right now. It's a good situation here. And if Ooh. he can slow down Juicy Juice, nope, Nug was not there to get the boost block. Oh, booster, yeah, he would have needed to potentially come off of the back wall at a really tight angle to get that cap in before they all caught up. And he looks like he elected to go in a little bit slower than that, or just missed the boost, hard to say. But another 45 seconds for uh, Block Populate to try and tie up this game. Remember, there will they've be another half. Out. Yep, they've got another half, but... uh. Ooh, Nug with the tag. Rudy, be wise to defuse here. 
Oh. And that's a cap. Really nice timing with that bomb. I hope it was intentional by Box Pop or either. Clear her at the base, right? Is the black carry. Booster Jukes getting on the scoreboard. And uh, tying it up for his team. Flags are reset. PK and Guardage will both get away. Great work by Gargantua staying alive. Web was there, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Ooh, there you go. Yeah, so at the end of the game, we've got Snowball with a really commanding 20 returns there, and uh, it paid off as his team managed to get a cap there at the end to tie it up coming in the half two. Yep, a lot of equal holes, about five and a half minutes of hole for each team. Uh, I'd say, yeah, it was fairly even. I don't think either team essentially deserved to have the lead there. All right, so we're going to the next uh, next half on what server? Let's, let's find out. Let's see, Box Populi are Radius, and Ball Illuminati's are also Radius. So it looks like we'll just be staying here. All right, cool. I'm trying to get back to the group. Some user script is kicking me back to like a different server every time. I'm trying to try and figure out which one that is. Oh, that's bizarre. Yeah, yeah, I still see you as in group, so you should just be able to click on group yeah, once you're back to radius. Yeah, I got back. Yeah, Monarch is such a small map, and because you can cut right through that middle channel, you can get between bases in three or four seconds, and the time it takes to set up a re-grab is none at all, so it's... you gotta really push hard for that second return, and you know, at least when it's appropriate, if you're gonna get that cap. Or have a power up, as we saw, was the, you know, way that that first cap got pushed in with a rolling bomb. All right, we're back. All right, so now we have Box Populi on the left, red team. It is a one-one game, so I guess effectively zero-zero. Uh, and then we have Ball Illuminati's on the right, the blue team. Snowball and Juicy Juke, their respective uh, leaders for the team so far. Snowball picks up a tag for a really nice boost off of a uh, really fortuitous spawn. And uh, he's, Booster Juke is coming in with a rolling bomb. He's going to try and get around back before he's... Oh, he's not even defused. Great tag for work by Snowball. As we've got a strong capping scenario here. Booster can just... He can't quite find that boost, but... Oh, tag nice work. In and into that. Snowball. Really, uh, in that cap for his team there. Great tag for work. He got lost a little bit, and they didn't stay that tight, but he was cleaning up the kills when it mattered. Rooster Jukes now, in his own right, doing a great job of uh, getting out of base there past two or three. And the snowball hitting a snipe, he's got an out, strong capping opportunity. PK. Doesn't quite get the call out in time to slide down low and hold Juicy Juke in the left side. Thinking about kissing. Nope. Changed their mind. <laughs> nice pass Booster. for uh, Booster Juice and PK sub ball. They were able to mm -hmm. switch the, to hold the tag for power up, and that's going to give him a cap. Great that work. was a great communication. Booster was on course to get that power up, and then he just sat and trusted PK would be there in front of the other player. Great communication and play there, and they're off to a really strong lead so far. Snowball already putting up a big seven tags, a minute and a half into this game. And again, the traffic is all one way for Box Populi. Illuminati have, uh, I've only gotten out of base once or twice so far in this game, but they do get a return there and potentially have a reset it unless Booster can... Nope. Booster is out. Too slippery for them right now. He's already got two caps and he's looking to make it three. Yeah, getting those getting those power up into the hands of the flag carriers is just to make such a difference on maps like Monarch and Velocity that are so hard to push it through the final distance sometimes. Oh, Gargantua, with an unfortunate bomb out there into this, he found one of the two spikes that he could have hit off that bomb. Or, I guess there's three.
Rudy positions himself very well for that pending bomb by PK Subball and gets himself a reset for it. Another round of power ups coming up and looks like Box Popeye are on top of it. Ooh, it's a great boost by Juicy Juke to not only take that tag pro but stay ahead of a couple and potentially put it in for a cap. Ooh, looks like he could have taken that boost potentially off of the back wall or even straight in, but he elected to wait a second and in that time the opponent's caught up. Good bomb sniper Gargantua. And now Balsack with another good snipe to get his team to reset. Which is all well and fine, but unless they start putting up caps themselves. It's looking like we're going to have a 3-1 game. Not too far off of power-ups and Juicy Juke is out there positioning nice and early. Interesting, so as we're starting to see the power-ups get staggered just a little bit, so we might have some uh, fights starting in the middle and then shifting over right for those power-ups soon, but right now we've got Nugs sitting right on flag. He's not going to get juked off of it. He looks pretty resolute with that tag pro. Kept the flag in base long enough for his team to get out, but ended up being quite brief. Yeah, other than that boost outside, there's not a whole lot of uh, tools for that flag carrier to get momentum after they grab, so they really have to be good on their technical juking skills if they want to get across the map here. It's not far to go, but without many tools, there's that yardage seems all the greater. Good power-up battles going on here. DC Juke wins one. Balluminati's have the power-up advantage here. Just for a couple more seconds. Offense isn't really working together too well to make use of it. No, the Balluminati's are putting up only about a minute and a half of hold. They are uh, struggling to hold the flag for long periods of time and keep that chain going. Their grabs are usually sporadic and uh, don't last too long. Good move by Juicy Juke, coming Great off work. that boost with a, a lot of momentum, and a good block by Balsack to enable his escape. That's an interesting play there. I wonder if they'll try and repeat it now that they've got one that potentially works. Great boost by Balsack, narrowly threading through Ooh. bottom left. Just... Wow. Amazing cap by PK Subball, who as he gets that return, potentially called out by his teammate. Hits the bomb in the corner to split two defenders and push it in. Really great heads up play there to get a cap out of what seemed like a sure death scenario. Cantua, really smart play there to kill one of his chasers with that bomb. Not sure why that chaser came through behind him. PK Subball has been struggling a little bit with the uh, fifth man today, the spikes. <laughs> oh, Nug staying alive. Great time. We may be able to get a reset here if Snowball can get ball sacked down there. And it looks like he's got a power up in mind, too. He's got. Oh, yep. Nug staying alive. To... Nope. Okay, Subble's out in the way. Nice work, Snowball. This is a good yep, chance. Right. Nugget and Booster Juke should have worked together there. I think they were too worried about getting on regrab. Yeah, Works out okay. With that rolling bomb, but it, yeah, it's it here. could have been a potential cap scenario. Still is. Oh no, the wall sacks away. Booster Juke's only a little. Oh, only a little bit of time left. That rolling bomb diffuses it so early with a beautifully angled non-return tag on Rudy, sending him into the side of that spike on the middle channel. That was a beautiful play. I go wild for the plays that don't really make a big difference and don't even come up stats wise, but just look so cool anyway.
Second last round of power ups. JC Juke's already in position. PK sub ball. Fighting for mid. PK sub ball comes away with a rolling bomb, as does Juicy Juke. Both teams get it, gonna potentially get it out of the base here. PK sub ball not even defused as he skirts his way around bottom. Gets past one, defused by the second. But he's got Booster Jukes coming in with a to Egg Pro who gets one kill. Can't quite get the second kill to kill the Re, but uh, with no return imminent, it doesn't look like it's gonna amount to anything. Juice Booster Jukes keeping the base clear for so long, but with only one chaser, it comes to naught. PK sub ball though, great job staying alive here. Of course, as soon as I say that, he is returned. The commentator's curse. Booster Jukes, past three. No, it's a score. It's a return. Score, score four one right now. It is four to one for Box Populi. Sorry about that, guys. Ooh, PK Sub Bowl, great, great boost. boost. Three. Ooh, oh, he's he in. got Ooh, it. Past Rudy. Fantastic cap. PK Sub Bowl putting up two caps this game. But once again, Snowball. Good lord. 22 returns. And 25 tags overall. That's huge. Great grab. Let's move with the juice juice. Booster the turn here. Putting the Kai turn here. on that. Gets the second return. Great double return by Booster. Quick and efficient to get a fifth cap. Wow. Great so they job. really grew into that game. So, Snowball worth the wait. A game that was delayed for upwards of 15 minutes. With the promise of Snowball's imminent arrival. And uh, looks like it was worth it. Great game. Yeah, really saw that map liven up after the first half, which was by and large a relatively slow ebb and flow, but that game really livened up and we had some really good bombs, some really good boosts, we had some phenomenal heads up caps and